Welcome to Cinemagma. In today's video, we will showcase the world premiere video of the 2022 American science fiction action film titled Prey. Make sure to like the video and subscribe to our channel to be notified when new videos are released. In the Comanche Nation in 1719, a fierce and highly skilled warrior named Naru discovers that the prey she is stalking is a technologically advanced, highly evolved alien. Prey is a 2022 American science fiction action film directed by Dan Trachtenberg and written by Patrick Hayson, based on Jim and John Thomas' Predator franchise. It is the fifth film in the franchise and serves as a prequel to the first four. The cast includes Amber Midthunder, Dakota Beavers, Dane Di Ligro, Stormy Kip, Michelle Thrush, and Julian Black Antelope. The film's development began during the production of The Predator, 2018, when Trachtenberg and Asen approached producer John Davis with a concept that they had been working on since 2016. The title of the film was revealed to be the codename for the franchise's fifth installment, which would serve as an origin story for the main villains. Prey is scheduled to be released by 20th Century Studios as a Hulu original film on August 5, 2022. Without much further ado, please enjoy the Prey movie premiere video. I mean, it's very exciting. It feels kind of surreal because, you know, we spent so long making the movie and before that preparing for the movie that to be here thinking that not only are we sharing it, but it's like it's about to be released to the world is is wild and I'm very excited. To me, it's a story about somebody feeling called to something and the people around her saying, no, I don't think that that is your calling and and figuring out the voice between, you know, those things and and what you truly feel in your soul. There's a new version of the Predator, there's different weapons, there's a different design, all that kind of stuff. So I think that it, you know, I think that to hardcore Predator fans, or even if you've never seen a Predator movie, I think that there's something to enjoy. One thing I love about this movie is that it's different, but it's also similar in, in enough ways that it kind of gives you a sense of nostalgia. You know, the first one, you're in the jungle, you know, spooky things are going on, you don't quite know what's happening. And I think that this movie goes back to that in a sense. Things, you know, you're in the woods, things go, things go wrong. Uh, not to spoil anything, but, but different enough to keep your attention. I think people are fascinated with indigenous culture and they always have been, but there hasn't always been an opportunity for it to be portrayed accurately because, you know, movies weren't made by indigenous people. But having Jane Myers kind of at the head of this project with Dan, a Comanche woman herself, um, it was just so, it was just such an honor for me to be a part of because, you know, she was there every day. This woman works so hard, you know, and she's got more energy than me. I don't know where she gets it, but just watching her kind of champion this thing and make sure it was accurate as we could get it was just amazing. The things that Dan did with this movie, you know, give it new life. Um, while still staying true to the traditional Predator way, uh, there are elements of the the Predator franchise that come into play, but a little different. And um, I think it's just right. I like that, you know, it's the focus on Naru and her journey and everything she's going through. And there's a big scary entity that's also haunting her as well. In this movie I've been working on for five or six years. And uh, I am so excited that we finally can talk about all the awesome things that are in it. Um, some things I'm going to hold on to just a little bit longer. There's some fun Easter eggs in the movie I hope the internet finds, but uh, I'm stoked that it's finally here. I think they will recognize the, the core, um, the, the genre mashup that was the 87 movie we have again here. Now it's much more of an adventure film mixed up with science fiction and horror. We've redesigned the creature a little bit so that it could surprise audiences once again. It hasn't really um, surprised uh, uh, since that first 87 movie that we first saw, saw the creature, um, the predator, when it was cloaked and we thought that was it. We then saw it with its biomass and we thought that was it. And then it 
revealed its final form, and and, uh, and this movie gets to surprise even diehard fans of the franchise once again. I'm thrilled to be here because this film has so many firsts, and me being a native producer, uh, it's, it's even in my language, so I'm, I'm totally thrilled. We uh, hit a lot of Easter eggs. I'm a big Predator fan. I was a teenager when the first Predator came out, so that's uh, it's really important to me. So this one is close to the original, and taking it back 300 years in time, we were able to pare down the Predator, so even the Predator looks different. You know, he's more feral, more prime. We even changed the color of his skin. So I think uh, people will see a lot of um, things in there, maybe a few lines. And then maybe this film also creates some new lines for people to take on, you know, in the future. So what's really important is to see a cast of predominantly native people carrying a, a, a studio film like this, you know, a feature film, action adventure. What I'm most excited about, I haven't seen it on the big screen. And that is going to be cool with the with sound effects and visual effects. I haven't seen this cut in some time, so I'm super excited for everybody. I think the audiences are excited about the the freshness of the of the new story. You know, certainly, and the, and the Predator is is sort of the rock that binds this movie together with other movies, other Predator movies, of which we've redesigned to some degree. So uh, in that way, I think we're similar, but yet quite unique. I would definitely say David and Goliath. I, I think that that is a great. It's analogous to really what the, story, the heart of the story is, you know, this, this young girl uh, fighting for her life, for her tribe, for her people, uh, and, and being understood by that group. It is so exciting to come to L.A. I came from Canada. <laughs> we shot this in Canada, so it's got a lot of Canadian roots to it, but I had such a great time working with this cast, and I play Amber's mom, and we had so much fun together. It's an indigenous woman that is in the lead and she is the hero and it's so rare that we ever get to have an indigenous woman as the hero of anything for our young people this is something that they can look up to and, and have a hero in amber and i love that i am most excited to see an indigenous cast of young people who are going to just be heroes and that to me is something that is really needed and really important honestly it's truly amazing and very gratifying to be something part bigger that will last generations. Predator and Comanche dub in a dub of Comanche of the Comanche language. I think that's truly monumental. I, I, just to have a franchise movie done in the Comanche language because that was something we uh, we talked about on set before we started shooting was having it completely done in Comanche language. Thanks for watching. Make sure to like and comment on the video if you enjoyed it. Click and watch our suggested video playlist right now for more entertaining videos. Subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell to be notified when new videos are released.